I was fortunate enough to be present at the launch of Friend of Gorilla in September of 2009 with the Uganda Wildlife Authority. It's a campaign initiative that they started to help benefit rangers and the conservation and protection of the East African Mountain Gorilla, uh, one of the world's most endangered species. There's only about 719 left in the world and the majority of them live within the borders of Uganda. They've developed a really incredible ecotourism section of the government that not only helps protect and save these animals, but it also works to stimulate and develop the communities surrounding the areas where they live. One of the most exciting things about this is the fact that this enables key club kids to show their leadership and go to K-Club or even schools that don't have K-Club yet and teach them about wildlife conservation. So with the lesson plans that are on the website, K-Club kids download those, they just print them off, they're PDFs. They go to the elementary schools and they educate those kids about wildlife conservation. And it's a really cool program because what that does is it helps uh, K-Club be leaders and uh, inspire this whole new generation to be just like them. Right now, um, tourism is our second highest GDP earner, gross domestic product that is, and mountain gorilla tourism is actually the first or the highest earner for tourism. The funds that we're collecting will go to the Uganda Wildlife Conservation Trust, and then those funds will go towards a number of things. So they go towards conservation, yes, of the mountain gorillas, but we also have a lot of needs. For instance, the rangers don't have basic things. They don't have housing, which means they get to trek a lot of miles just to get to work every morning. Um, they don't have basic things like climbing boots. Right now they're using rain boots, which is difficult for them because at that altitude, they become heavier and heavier. It's not the best thing for them to use. Um, we're looking at just getting more classroom blocks out there. Uh, we're looking at getting a car for them to be able to travel because interestingly enough, the gorillas are spread over three ranges. They're called the Virunga ranges. So the distance between one group, for instance, to another, you're talking about six hours by car. So it is difficult for them. So if we can get them a car to get across, a lot easier, it's better. KCGorillas.com is a website designed specifically 100% for Key Club kids. First of all, it has all the lesson plans on it. Um, that enables you to, to download and go teach in the schools, but also has, it has footage of Simon while he's trekking in Uganda. It has uh, um, photos of Simon trekking a gorilla. It has all the sorts of different information about where the gorillas live and just a whole bunch of stuff. And so it's really a great resource um, and something you can go back to time and time again and get re-inspired to be a part of this campaign. We're gonna define success by you know, raising awareness about the gorillas and raising funds to help protect them. So I know that Key Club is very passionate about, their, about, about the good that they do in the world, so I, we're very hopeful that the Key Club members will be able to take this campaign and run with it and really make it successful so we can see the number go up from 700 to 800 to 900 in years to come.